Hi everyone, this is Adara again, and welcome back to my lounge, where we just generally record kind of cozy type videos, a um, couple of openings, and today we have a very special video. So I have gotten a package back from PSA. It's the very first time I've ever graded cards. So, full disclosure, I already know what the grades of these cards are. Um, I could not wait. I had to peek online. So, I uh, thought it would be fun to open with you guys. And then I was also going to do a binder update. So, I wanted to pull out my main collection binder, just kind of page through. Um, we're super close. Really, all I'm missing is 19 uh, foils to have the full uh, foil, non-foil collection. But... Anyways, let's go ahead and we will go ahead and open this. And I've never opened from PSA before, so there might be some like additional blurring or something that ends up happening. Well, they really got this tied up. Oh my word, do I have a scissors around here? I do not, we're just going in and ripping. I can do that too. There it is. Oh, this is wrapped in bubble wrap. Ugh. Let's see. So, if there is any address information on here, I will be removing it. So I'm going to just kind of carefully peek at this. Nice. So we have lots of bubble wrap. I'm probably going to keep this for packing additional stuff. So let's see here. I'm a little sad. I've seen a couple of really nice like PSA boxes. I kind of thought they were going to come in that. Maybe it doesn't come at the, the lower rate, which is what I entered things in as. So I really just wanted the cheapest way to grade these. The whole point of me having these is mainly to trade for those pesky enchanted cards that I know I'm going to want for the first set. So let's see here. Oh, there's our PSA. Oh, very exciting. So. Go ahead. Oh, I see them. And we'll set that aside. I think that has the important information on it. So the foundation of all great collections. So we'll leave that here on the side, maybe. And we'll go ahead and we'll pop these open. So these are, yeah, so these are the Gen Con Mickeys. Okay, so this is actually like the first time I've ever held one in my hand. Let's look at this here. Very exciting. So there's Gen Con Mickey there. This is my one Gem Mint 10 that we got. I'm looking at it because I'm trying to see. It actually looks like there's... It almost looks like there's like embossing on the windows for some reason. I don't know. But... So we have the PSA 10 Mickey Mouse Musketeer from Gen Con Promo. Here, let me see if I can maybe help with some of that glare. I'm gonna try this. Let's see, does that help? Yeah, that does. So here, let's see if we can get it to focus. So. The one Gem Mint 10 that I have. Super exciting. Very, very exciting. And then we have, I'm gonna skip these down. The 10 all the way over here. So then we have a Mint 9. Let's see. No idea why these additional ones got 9 versus 10. Maybe there was some scratching on them. Maybe there was some curling on the edges. And another mint nine. And another mint nine. So we have three mint nines and the one ten. 
So let's see, we have 29, 30, 31, and 32 for our numbers. So that's really exciting. Um, I already know um, one of these I'm trading away for actually some pins from a friend. I'm looking forward to doing that. Um, we're going to definitely hold on to the 10 and the other 9s for a little bit longer, though the idea is eventually to trade for some of those enchanteds. So, super exciting. I'm going to put them mostly back in here. We'll close back up this box just to keep them safe for now. And let's take a look at the binder situation. So I'm going to scoot those up there. So... This is my Voltex binder. I am not sponsored by Voltex, um, but I did a whole bunch of research before I got into the Lorcana cards and really decided to go with the Voltex brand. I love them. I've already gotten my Set 2 one, um, and my promo collection is actually in a separate, much smaller Voltex binder. So, this is the main set binder. So, this is going to have um, the one regular and one foil of cards. Um, I want to get one of every card. The idea is eventually I would love to have all of these regular cards signed by their artists. I got uh, 12 of those at Miami TCG Con that just happened. So we'll hopefully slowly but surely fill things in. I'll point out a couple of those as we page on through. Oh, we have the infamous Hey Hey that's now technically has a error print on it. Ah, so this is one of them. This is Mar Marcel Berg. I'll move this up so it's a little bit easier to see. Super excited to get this signature. It's in a, a metallic blue. Um, really pretty looking card. Um, we are missing the foil of him. Um, we have a really nice uh, Timon as well. That was signed by Juan Diego Leon. So Ursula Shell Necklace is one. We got the Elsa signed by Matthew Robert Davies in really pretty gold. Let's see if we can get that up here a little bit. Really pretty gold signature there. Uh, Jafar is one that we're missing. And let's see here. really been able to complete a lot of these with just friends in the Lorcana HQ Discord. Um, this was a fun one. Um, somebody got this one signed for me at Gen Con by uh, Lauren Walsh. I'd love to get another one from her signed in maybe black. I think it would just pop a little bit better. But um, super great follow on uh, Twitter. Um, she goes to a lot of conventions, it seems like. So I hope to run into her again sometime soon. So missing the genie on the job foil, that Hans foil, that one's gonna be a sneaky one to get. Everybody loves the Hans. We have Iago, John Silver. I'm super excited to get that one. I bet his eye is foiled and that's gonna look super cool. A super cool signature from uh, Kendall Hale. I'm really excited. The Today we've been getting the dwarves released actually. And he did, it seems like he's done all seven of the dwarves in to make one giant piece of art, which is so, so cool. I was hoping we would have something like that in set one. Uh, Do It Again is a weird one that I'm missing. Just really didn't come across some of those rare foils. There's our Ruby, really cool dripping signature from Cam. And a very neat uh, signed Maleficent dragon. She has some flames coming up out of her mouth. A Nicholas Cole signed Brave Little Taylor. We got to meet him at Gen Con. Um, I have a lot more to get signed by him. Um, hope to get, maybe touch base with him at some point. A really fun Tigger. Uh, this was from Pix. Um, we also ran into him, at, them at Gen Con. That was super cool. Another Nicholas Cole. So we're missing a bunch of the legendaries. So the Bell, the Hades. Jasmine's just another rare. 
but we're getting really close on a lot of these pages if they're not already complete. Let it go is a weird one. Uh, still need that let it go foil. Um, let's see. Ooh, we got nice two full pages there. That foil giant tank is going to be a tricky one. Um, I have a really neat personalized Taka um, from uh, from Andrew Trebold. Had a really nice time talking with him. Grab your swords. Got the foil whole new world at uh, Miami TCG. Was super happy for that. And then last page, we're just missing the plasma blaster. So that's super exciting. I did want to quickly show off these last ones. So these are, um, they're proxy cards. They're, um, these three are proxies. These two are really cool metallic proxies that were printed by someone and we got them at Gen Con. This was before we had most of the first set. Um, some fan created this Wally -E card um, and I happened to win it in a giveaway from Knives Nerds Corner channel. So really treasure that one. Um, this was a fun one from another friend from the Discord as well. It's an actual card that he just signed. So really treasure that. But that's what we have going on in Lorcana. We are getting so close. I think we're down to 14 days until LGS release. So hang in there, guys. We can make it to set two. Hopefully, if you weren't able to get set one product, that you're able to start finding it, either with this kind of restock that's starting to happen, or um, maybe with the reprint that comes, or with holidays. Um, really hope you all can find some product that you're looking for. Um, and definitely talk with your locals. The local communities are really great from what I've experienced, and it generally seems like people really want to help other people. So thanks for stopping in and just chilling for, with me for a bit. I hope to see you all next time in the lounge.